what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Y'all had jokes this morning, yo. So we went live <laughs> for the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Chinese New Year, the year the Dragon joints. And, you know, Buzz was like, hey, break, I forgot about you. Yeah, we had, like, Cannabis Kicks was like, all right, break, we'll see you with another seven weeks, Army. I'm telling y'all, hey, we, we about to get back on it. And again, like I said, man, hey, February is crazy. This entire year is crazy. We still hearing new sneakers that's dropping. I know little Brozy Sneakerhead said, hey, they still got a couple more left in the chamber, you know, that, hey, should, should raise some buzz, man. So make sure y'all following Z Sneakerhead. Make sure y'all following Sneaker Files on IG so y'all can hear this information, you know, when it happens as well. But back to this morning on the live, I did wind up getting a dub on the Jordan 1 Lows, and I got a dub on the Retro 14 Lows too, the Love Letter joints. Now, surprisingly, I don't think I seen anybody with them joints early. And when I talked to Flight, he was like, bro, nobody in Tampa, nobody in Florida got them joints either. So I don't know if those was a quick strike. I don't know if those just went to like neighborhood spots or like, you know, low key, like DTLR. I don't know, but I did wind up hitting the 10 and a half in men. So as soon as them joints get here, I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all with the review on those as well as the Air Jordan 1 Year of the Dragons. Now, my family over there at Outrank, they got some merch for the Year of the Dragons too. It was around like, what, 75,000 pairs today. I wind up hitting a size 11 and a half and, you know, just by going off the vibes in the chat and the members of the army, you know, expressing their opinions, I thought that them, I don't want to say I thought that they were going to sit. I didn't think that they were going to sell out as quickly as they did. I thought that hey, if you entered on multiple devices, you would be able to get multiple pairs. But hey, so again, your boy do got the review coming for those. Again, check out Outrank. I do got the link in the description section below to save you guys that 10% off on all Outrank merchant. I mean, they've been hitting merch for pretty much every single release and you know they're gonna have the stuff for the bread forge and telling y'all army the stuff be flying so make sure y'all tap in with them now i want to go ahead and talk about these air jordan 17s z sneakerhead posted the picture of them today with the suitcase the lightning joints and they nice now the thing about those is retail is going to be 300 dollars on the air jordan 17s and I want to say all of them are coming with suitcase. So I'm going to just assume that all of them that's dropping are going to be $300 retail. Now, back in the day when I was young, back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Some days I said and wish I was a kid again. Hey, <laughs> I just came out of nowhere. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways I mean, back in the day when them joints dropped, they, you know, retail on them was more expensive than just your average Air Jordan 1, your average Air Jordan 3, etc. Now, the Lightning Low colorway smack. I got my Jordan 17 Lows, the Soul Flat joints that dropped All-Star Weekend a couple years ago, man. And I wore these and these joints were comfortable. The 17 Lows were comfortable, so I am interested in getting these joints with the suitcase as well. Now, my thing is, and I posted on Twitter, I was just like, man, Armin, do y'all think that these Air Jordan 17s are going to go on sale? And, you know, I feel like it was 50-50. And I'm just thinking because, I mean, retail is $300. Now, unless they keep these joints mad limited, like how they did the Code Japans that came with the suitcase, if they keep the numbers low, then I can see them just selling out and not hitting a Nike outlet. But if they doing like... I don't know, 250,000 pairs, I can see them joints potentially going on sale. And the other question is, what's the demand for these 17 lows as well? Because you got these, I want to say they dropping the UNC colorway. Um, I'm a year was supposed to be doing a collab with the 17 lows. So it's not like everybody just going to go crazy for every single colorway in these 17s or the 17 lows. So I do think that Retail price at $300 is hefty, but I do feel like they got a core audience that will go and spend that $300. I do feel like if they put them on sneakers app, they will sell out. Most people really just want the suitcase, if we're being honest. Like, even some of my comments on Twitter, they were just like, hey, I just spent $300 for the suitcase. I mean, I think $300 for the suitcase is outrageous as well, but 
Y'all let me know if y'all think that these are going to be an instant sellout or if y'all think that these joints are going to go on sale. If you just wait it out, you'll be able to get them for the low ski. And last but not least, Army, I want to go ahead and talk about this Kobe, what potential Kobe Nike SB Dunk collab. Now, seeing all of the rumors on Instagram, you know, from Private Selection, then, you know, right here from Nice Kicks, it says not confirmed, not 2024, 2025 at the earliest. Vanessa Bryant hasn't even seen the product yet, and she has to sign off on everything. So high probability of it getting squashed. Now, my thing is, you know, they already tough to get as far as a Nike SB, if it's a dope one, or a Kobe. So combining them joints, man, like we see what happened when you combine, in my opinion, the most popular Air Jordan right now is the Air Jordan 4. I think the Retro 4 is more popular than the Retro 11 right now. You know, and then you add the SB to it, bam, you see what happened with the SB4s. And I feel like because of the SB4 was so popular that it's not going to be the last time we see a SB4. And now they're going to SB us with everything that's popular. And of course, we know Kobe sell out every single time that them joints drop. And he got a decent amount of, you know, Kobe's that's dropping in 2024. So leading up potentially to 2025 with a Kobe SB Dunk collab. Hey, that's going to be crazy. And again, it's already tough to get both sneakers on both sides as far as a Kobe and an SB. Both of them already have, you know, that high resale right out the gate. And I don't know how y'all feel about that because we already know that resale value is going to be crazy, man, you know. I just see madness. That's why I'm already thinking like, man, let the madness commence because <laughs> that's exactly what it's going to be. And, and when I thought about that, I thought of the Votori from the Twilight series. How, you know, they were just, I don't know, just, they just observed everything. And I feel like Nike be observing everything as well. And they just be sitting back, man, and just waiting for their moment to strike. You know, or waiting for the moment to, bam, let's hit him with this shoe. Or bam, let's do this. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it's going to be crazy. I think that it's going to probably be one of the hypest releases. If it happens, again, they say Vanessa Bryant has to sign off on them. So, if she don't, hey, you know, this is just wasting time right here. But, you know, if she do, you know, it's potential to be one of the biggest collabs, yo. Because, I mean, unless they do another Air Jordan 4 SB that same year, that's probably going to be, man, most people's sneaker of the year already. Some people already got their sneaker of the year up in January. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Army? So anyways, let me know how y'all feel about the information in today's video, Army. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Again, I know I'm a little bit behind, but the gratitude merch, hey, hey I just want to do something to just show my gratitude to the army man so again that'll be here pretty soon and in that army again make sure y'all hit that like button make sure you share the video make sure you hit that notification bell especially if you ain't been getting the videos again your boy trying to get that thing steamrolling again again i love you guys i appreciate y'all you got your boy unbreakable you got the unbreakable vote unbreakable army says strong like always most importantly hug your loved ones and of course remain humble and we out. I hit him breakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. Yo, it's old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.